In this tutorial, you will learn how to calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation for a data set. You will also learn how to obtain and interpret the correlation coefficient, R. Begin by opening the sample data set for learning module 3, which is an Excel worksheet. As you can see, this data set contains several variables, which are the column headings. There are 40 participants in the study, identified by the row numbers. It is helpful to calculate descriptive statistics first to get a sense of the data. Using Excel's functions, you can calculate most descriptive statistics easily. Let's start with the mean. Suppose you want to know the mean number of hours the sample spent watching TV. This variable is labeled TV and is column J in the worksheet. You must first select an empty cell where the mean will appear. Let's select J43. as it is at the bottom of the column of interest. Next, click on the function button labeled FX right above the worksheet. A dialog box will appear. You can search for the function of interest or select recently used functions. In this case, type in mean and a number of options appear. Note that Excel calls the mean average. So select this function and click OK. Next, you must specify which values you want to include in the calculation. One nice aspect of Excel is that it responds well to ranges, so you don't have to enter every cell that you want to include. Therefore, you can specify that you want to include all values from J2, which is the first cell with data in it, to J41. which is the last cell with data in it. Note that this should be expressed as J2 colon J41 with no spaces between the characters. Click OK and note that the mean 9.225 appears in cell J43. To obtain the variance, which is rarely reported but may be of interest, select another empty cell such as J44 and go through the same procedure. Instead of selecting average, <clears throat> select VAR as the function and type in the same range of cells. The outcome is 21.44. To calculate the standard deviation, you can take the square root of the variance or use the standard deviation function, which is labeled STDEV. Use the same range, J2 to J41, and note that the value returned by the function, 4.63, is the square root of 21.44. Finally, you may be interested in looking at the relationship between two variables, such as the number of hours of TV watched and the number of hours of exercise per week. The procedure is the same. After clicking the function key, type in correlation. The function is named Corel. In this case, you will type in two ranges. In the box that says Array 1, type in the first range, in this case, J2 to J41, for hours of TV per week. In the box that says Array 2, type in the second range, in this case, K2 to K41. Note that the value that is returned is the correlation coefficient, R. In this case, R equals negative 0.65, a strong negative correlation. Excel does not provide the significance level for the correlation coefficient, so you must look this up in the table in your textbook. This concludes the tutorial.